Well, a group at CHI St. Gabriel's Health in Little Falls is making infant kindness kits for new mothers. Our Sarah Winkleman shows us the process of putting these together. We love babies. We love uh, spreading kindness. It's all one big team effort with the Stitch in Time team at CHI St. Gabriel's Health starting off the process of making the kits by sewing the diaper bags. I like to sew and I think all these gals do too. And it's fun too. After their stitches are complete and the knots are tied, they look to the community for help with donations. It's tremendously supported by community members that are passionate about it. Then it's time to put the kits together and fill the bag full of newborn essentials. Diapers. Okay, okay, here's some diapers. It's something so beautiful when you think of that these are going to infants that are in need um, to help the families out. With the last step in the process, handing out the kits to the new mothers. We can distribute them to any of the new moms that we see in WIC or with our family home visiting programs. Including mom Shania and her three-week-old baby Savannah, who received an infant kindness kit just this week. That's pretty cool. I have that. It's great getting clothes and diapers. Diapers are expensive. expensive. As of today, 100 infant kindness kits have been put together by the Live Better, Live Longer, Belong group. The world really needs so much more kindness. And when we start with the infants, it just grows. Along with a community of generous people that keep the program growing. So many people that are willing to just do a little part and then bring it all together. In an effort to spread a message of kindness. You matter to us. Um, your baby is important and they are a valued member of our community and we're glad that you're here. Reporting in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The group takes donations and puts together the kits all year round. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.